Listening to Lone Star Internet Radio. Then you're listening to Lone Star Internet Radio. That is correct. You are listening to Lone Star Internet Radio. This is Lone Star in the mornings. Good morning, Montgomery County. It's 8.07. Another beautiful day coming up here in Montgomery County. I'm sitting here with a special guest. Like I said, we've been having special guests all week. Been a lot of fun here on Mornings with Lone Star. Just to remind you guys, we're here from 8 to 10 every morning. And then, of course, the best, the Mark and Cindy show starts at 10. So we're going to be here. Right now in the studio with me is Danielle Sokol, right? That Hi pronounce there. It, that yes. pronounce it correct. She's with Art and Gems for Charity. This is an interesting organization. We're going to get more into Art and Gems for Charity later in the program. But I just wanted to let you guys know I have a special guest in the studio. And Danielle, welcome to Lone Star Internet Radio. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure so far. But right now I just want to give a little bit of weather update. It's 60 degrees outside, partly sunny with a high near 80 and then it's going to be mostly cloudy tonight with a low around 61. we got great music on Mornings with Lone Star. Make sure to send your song request to our Twitter and Facebook. Just look up Lone Star Internet Radio and tell me what you want to hear. So uh, we're going to – right now I'm going to get to know a little Danielle a little better, and then we'll get into our, our engines for charity because you guys are from the Woodlands, which is where I was like yesterday. So how long have y'all lived – oh, actually, I say y'all. Your husband's in the studio, but he refuses to get on the air. I think it has something to do with he's not being paid for his voice. <laughs> So he, he That's has probably it. It's the I, well, I think it's SAG that Screen Actors Guild thing. Like I think he's part of it, and he's just kind of like I can't do. It. I gotta get paid a certain amount, and he's refusing to get on. But you're with your husband, and uh, we, how long have y'all lived in the Woodlands? Uh, we just actually moved up to the Woodlands in November. But oh wow! We've been in the area for he his whole life, and me for about ten years. Okay, so 10 years, this area, meaning Montgomery County. Yes. Okay, cool. Did you not want to tell people, like, you live no. in Cut and Shoot or something? No, I've lived in the Woodlands the whole time. Okay. But then when we got married, we he had a house in Spring, and then we sold that, and then we moved back to the oh, Woodlands. cool. So, so. The, the Woodlands is a pretty neat place. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty booming and pretty hip, and it's awesome. The only complaint I have is it's, it was, I guess, the ironic thing. It's called the Woodlands, so it has a lot of woods. But when you don't know where you're going, it's it, it's really frustrating. And you're like, well, where do I turn left? Where I can't see what's you to You turn my at left. the third pine tree is pretty much where you. Would is turn. it the rule of thumb while yeah, you're driving much. there? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's I'm I've been around for ten years and I still get a little turned around, so I feel sorry for the new people. Yeah, no, it's, it was <laughs> it, I was sitting there driving and we're going over to Market Street. I guess it's called Market Square or Market Street. Market Street. Market Street, and it's hidden. But if you're on the right side, it's like you're li- trying to turn left, you like you have no idea what where the entrances is. And I, I saw H E B. That's a, that's my only landmark I see is like there's H E B. I got it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I mean, we need to put some signs up there, folks. So you get yeah. people. I guess they they mark the pavilion, but but yeah. So uh, you been there for ten years. This is pretty cool. Yes. And you started this thing called Art and Gems for charity. And if you're on your computer, folks, right now, if you uh, want to look on look at something while listening to us. Visit the, her website at artandgemsforcharity.org. That's Art, right. Artandgemsforcharity.org. And uh, so I guess we can t- chat about it a little bit. Okay. So what exactly is Art and Gems for Charity? It's an organization. We make these beautiful three-dimensional art pieces that use various gemstones and geodes like amethysts, aquamarine, emeralds, rubies. And we kind of encrust them onto these basically plywood and we frame them and they're absolutely gorgeous and stunning what is that called like type of art like if you're going into an art contest or judging isn't that called like multimedia or i guess that would be multimedia you know various elements or whatever they would call it i'm not really 100 percent sure it's just it's awesome is what i call it okay no, and I'm so looking, um i'm looking at it right now that's why i've it looks. This is actually. I'm looking at your Campbell's one. That's oh, the the Andy Warhol Campbell soup yeah. can one. Yeah, that's one of our favorites. And then we offer these pieces to various uh, nonprofits and organizations in the area for their fundraisers, and we just help them raise a lot of money because it's just really different and unique, and something that people haven't seen before. So people get kind of excited when they see it at these events, and uh, we just hope that we can help the community. You know, just a big impact and helping raise money. Now, do you know a lot about rocks? Is that why you're you're into this kind of stuff? It's not actually me who creates these okay. pieces. It's my mom, and oh. she's been a very successful artist for 35 years, doing various murals and frescoes and the ceilings and the domes and wall finishes and everything. And um, we were approached last year. A friend of ours was putting on a fundraiser for Autism Speaks, mm-hmm. and 
she makes beautiful jewelry that incorporates a lot of natural stones. So my mom kind of had this idea and she said, do you mind if I do an art piece for your fundraiser? And she did a piece with a lot of aquamarine since autism's color is blue. And it just got received really, really well. And my mom said, you know, um, we might actually have something here. And so we just went on and on and on and have been making them ever since. And they're pretty cool. Yeah, they look dangerous. Um, they can be dangerous if you don't hang them at the right place. Because some of these rocks, they really come out at you. So you might want to hang it where you this, don't. This would totally be something I'm walking down a hallway and then my shoulder just <laughs> catches it. And I'm like, that always happens to me. And I'm like, oh, what was that? And then I like I break something. Well, then, um, if you ever did get one, we might want to put it in a fairly safe, secure location. Put it be at least eight feet, but then no one will be able to look at it. I guess i got to put it in a glass case. That that might not be a bad idea. So that makes more sense. Yeah. So you can, basically, you're telling me art and gems for charity. I can find these paintings only at charity functions? That is not correct. Okay. Good. You can, All right. <laughs> you can um, if, if somebody were interested in doing a custom piece which those are so fun to do because you get an idea of what colors they like and kind of what their style is. Is that what that is? Um, That was actually done for uh, the Montgomery County Food Bank. Oh. Um, The the Amethyst one that you see called Amethyst Dream, that was a private commission. Uh, They really loved Amethyst, and so we put Amethyst and Emeralds, and there's some, uh, there's a picture of it right here, Um, and a lot of quartzes and topaz. And the cool thing about the custom pieces is that we will still donate part of the proceeds to the charity of that patron's choice. So regardless if you get it at a gala or a fundraiser or a luncheon or if you get one custom done, there's there's still money going to the charity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is – what's neat is we're on the radio talking about this and people really don't have an idea. You really need to go check out the website, artandgemsforcharity.org, or watch the YouTube version of this interview because she has – she brought some examples, but – you, you give some good pictures for perspective because it literally does jump out. It's really hard to take pictures of anything that's three-dimensional. So it's, you know, the, the cool thing is, and I wish I would have had a piece to bring in, but these are fairly large. They can be about 30 by 30, and they can weigh anywhere from maybe 50 to 70 pounds. What? So they're pretty... They're pretty heavy duty and really substantial, so I can't just like wheel one in here because it would be. Do you have a, a guy who mounts things? Because that sounds like a we, like we a job. It, it's it's pretty intense, and you know, hanging them, you got to get the good French cleats on there yeah. and really secure it, and get the stud finder out and make sure it's secure. So yes, we do have a a team that can hang these. This would probably be the first thing if I was eight years old and I walked into a room and I saw it, I'd want to touch it. So what about that? Like what it was, so somebody went up to it could, I mean, I imagine after a while, if people keep touching these things, it's going to be a problem. You may be the only one that I know of that would want to actually touch it. I mean, people want to, they get really, really close and they want to look at it because these things sparkle and they come to life. That's what I, I'm like, what is this? I know. And if it's really cool when you have a spotlight shining down on it, because then it just really just, whoa, it just, it's just awesome. It, I mean, that's what that, I really people don't like to touch these things. People don't like touching rocks. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm I guess they're trying to be proper at these events. Oh, no. and They don't want to go no, up and, and stroke I'm, these rocks. Well, but well, I guess look, maybe when they get home, they're like, oh, and they're okay. touching them and everything. Well, I'll look around first. They're like, no one's watching, right? <laughs> this is cool. But, uh, okay, well, that's just, I, was, I said eight years old, by the way. I didn't say now. I meant if, you know, some eight-year-old walked Are around. Are you sure? Well, no, I probably would <laughs> probably still touch it. I know I get in trouble when I go to museums because. Are you the one that they kick out because you're, you get too close and set the alarm off? Well, yeah, pretty much. Well, because like, like I asked, because I didn't know anything about classifications of art and multimedia was an odd word to describe this type of art because that's what I would understand. This yeah. would be a multimedia piece. And it's because of just the texture and what they add to the canvas or to the, the piece. And usually that stuff is interesting and I want to touch it. So yeah. There. And the, there's um, it consists of, it starts with plywood and then we put some wire meshing to kind of build a little bit of a foundation. And then we do Bondo and you put the rocks and then there's the little pieces that kind of fill in the nooks and crannies and lots of awesome super glue. So um, it's it's pretty intense working on it it's it's fairly time consuming but you know we we always love how the end result comes out oh no well, that's why i was telling the the listener they need to check it out because it's there every piece that i'm looking at 
has some type of theme or it's, it looks unique, especially the yep. way they use the rocks. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. I'm hanging out with Daniel Sokol, right? I'm going to say Sokol, Sokol, Sokol. Perfect. Daniel Sokol of Art and Gems for Charity. As we're listening to this next song, check out artandgemsforcharity.org and check out these photos. And then uh, we're going to get back. I want to talk more about what I can and cannot do with these things because this is, this is pretty dang interesting to me. But right now we're going to play some music. Here's some Aaron Einhouse with Crazy and Love. You're listening to Lone Star in the mornings. We'll be right back. Have you ever wandered around a parking lot trying to look like you actually know where you parked? Then you'll love the Mark and Cindy Show. If buying toilet paper with aloe vera is the most exciting thing you're going to do today, then you'll love the Mark and Cindy Show. Even if you haven't tweeted, you'll still love the Mark and Cindy Show. Mm, how about twerking? Ew, that was one step over the line, Mark. Well, well, you said toilet paper. Look, we want listeners to tune in to the Mark and Cindy Show at 10 o'clock every weekday morning here on Lone Star Internet Radio. Uh, the Mark and Cindy Show, you know, it's like visiting with your best friends for coffee, except we will never stiff you with a check. And one of us always knows what she's talking about. Mm, well, okay, but it's still called the Mark and Cindy Show. You know that. <laughs> We'll see. The Mark and Cindy Show. Tune in to Lone Star Radio every weekday morning at 10 o'clock. Do you ever wonder what's going on in the business community? Are you looking for ways to get plugged in? Cassandra Roshan here, Director of Membership Development with the Greater Conroe, Lake Conroe Area Chamber of Commerce. And I would like to invite you to tune in to Chamber Chat. Tune in the first Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m. so you will be in the know for all Chamber happenings for the month. Each month, the Chamber offers two free lunch and learn sessions, a networking breakfast, business after hours, membership luncheon, as well as many other special events throughout the year. I will give you a rundown of all programs and events for the month, as well as interview our speakers and hosts of these events. So grab a cup of coffee and tune in to Chamber Chat the first Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m. Chat with you then. Billy White Jr., nothing new. I am here at the Lone Star Studios in downtown Conroe hanging out with Danielle Sokol of Art and Gems for Charity. You know what she told me? She told me she knew Aaron Einhouse. I is, did. Isn't that cool? Yep. We went to college together. That's what, I think that's in San Antonio. So they're, uh, I guess you could call that a local boy, I guess somewhat, you know, yeah. in, in the state of Texas. But uh, I'm hanging out with Daniel Sokol. She's with this organization called Art and Gems for Charity. You can check them out at artandgemsforcharity.org. And really it's a unique way to do art with rocks. Right. They're, they're rocks. Various semi-precious and precious gemstones and topazes and quartzes. And so who's your rock dealer? Because these are pretty, these are pretty rocks. And we I, we I, order them just... and we get them from all over the world. So China, South America, Arizona. I mean, we we kind of get them all over. So who's the haggler? Someone's got to be the haggler. That's probably my mom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if people know their rocks, they can get them cheap. Yeah. So, I mean, because if you look at these pieces, folks, there's a lot of rocks. Yes. A lot of ge- okay. Should I just say gems? It makes it a little easier. Gemstones. Gemstones. Yes. Because it's it, they're beautiful and crystals and they're 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 absolutely beautiful and it's something that I, you would never see. I, I've never seen anything like this. So, but then again, how often do I get out? But uh, you were out last night. Yeah, I know it's a joke. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, no. So, so this kind of stuff. Like, so if you're a listener right now and you want a piece, you do do pieces for private like private pieces private commissions and we were talking about ideas like i said oh we could do dark crystal with david bowie that'd be an interesting that piece. would be very interesting and the fortress of solitude right yeah that, that was, was my husband's s- idea from yeah. Su- superman yeah i think that would be cool but uh but so if i'm a if i'm a listener and i go on to art and gems for org, that you can you still have that option this isn't absolutely and you still donate a piece of that money to, to charity. the charity of their choice. Yes. So if their heart's with the Montgomery County Women's Center or if it's with the dog shelter, whatever the case is. And um, it's, and if you know anybody who runs a nonprofit or has an annual fundraiser, this is just a great way to just bring something new and awesome to the table. 
just something that no one's ever seen before and you see it in person your jaw just drops it's just stunning it sparkles it comes alive and you can't get that in the pictures and that's just the frustrating thing about kind of advertising these types of pieces because it's really really hard to to get that vision across of the three dimensionality and how it just kind of comes at you and like lunges towards you. How many things weighs 40 pounds? Anywhere from about 50 to 70 pounds, just depending on the amount of rocks and the size of the geodes. And then there's the plywood and then there's the paint and there's the bondo. And then we put a frame on it. So it just builds and builds. How long does it take to make one of these? Do you know? It varies from piece to piece. So if we're doing the Fortress of Solitude, how long would that take? Because that's going to be big. Uh, probably, uh, probably a few weeks. Okay. On and off. But usually, when you do something for charity, it's kind of already done deal. Right. We 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 meet with the nonprofit or the charity, and we sit down, and they look, and they're like, "Oh man, this is beautiful. We'd love to have a piece." And then you know, we usually know about uh, four months to four weeks out that we're going to be doing a piece for them and then we can kind of customize it to maybe the the mission or the vision or maybe the theme of that particular event so you see the the one for the american heart association it was the shape of a heart Mm -hmm. and then the one for the montgomery county food bank it's a can of soup that was a play off the andy warhol so we kind of try to incorporate the theme have a little bit of fun with it and it's definitely a conversation piece when it's hanging um on a wall in in your house and people are like wow what's this where did this come from and who did it and you know, they're just really, really fun and unique. So definitely not for the faint of heart. Yeah, I, like I told the, the listeners, art and, gem, art and gems for charity.org is to get a better idea. And then what other ways can people contact you? Because it sounds like you, you can you want to talk to charities and then you want to talk to private right. art people. We're, or, yeah, we're, we're here to do anything for anybody who's, who's interested. And, you know, our goal is to just give back to the community. Uh, my mom has always been a charitable giver but this is just something that was a little bit more unique and fun than just like a certificate or something it was i just, agree i definitely agree just something a little bit more fun and involved and it's just really fun when you when you go to these events too and you see the people standing there and they're looking at it and they what am i seeing and then they're like whoa and then there's the bidding war that starts and it can just get kind of exciting and it's just fun seeing people's reactions because it's not your everyday piece of art that's for sure and you gotta put it somewhere safe like i said because you have people like me in this world they'll touch it and then they'll probably knock it over or something like that and that would hurt if it fell on somebody it would probably hurt if it fell it probably hurt the floor more than it hurt itself that's funny (laughs) but uh so what's the best way to reach out to you guys i know you have a website right we have the website and there's a contact us page on there um there's uh my cell phone number my email address we also have a facebook page you can message us through there so various ways so definitely the website and uh my email's a lot of a lot of letters and i don't know if that's gonna come across really well but it's a a g f c o r g at gmail.com and that you can find that at on the website our engines for charity.org yeah, and on so. our facebook page and just to give um the, the YouTube. youtube viewers a little bit of an idea i don't know if you can see this very well like i said it's just i can't lug one of these 70 pound pieces in here but we have the plywood and you apply the paint and the bondo and everything and then you adhere these rocks to it and it just literally jumps out and i don't know if you can see the frame right here but these these blades, kyanite blades, and quartzes, and topazes, and amethyst, and all kinds of stuff. So it's really, really hard to just see it. It's um, We have one hanging in our office. If anyone would be interested in coming and looking at a piece yeah. in person, that's definitely um, an option, too. A, a lot of people need a little bit more of a visual and see it in person or... You know, if I give a bet, if you came, you'd touch it. And, yeah, um, I would. And that just kind of helps people see it. So if anyone's interested in just taking a look and seeing what one of these even looks like before they maybe want us to meet with maybe the president or the auction chairs for the galas, or if they know somebody who would be interested in having one, you know, privately commissioned, there's just so many options. We're really, really easy to work with. And it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of potential in your Yeah, art. there's a lot of and, potential. And it, especially the uniqueness. That's yep. one thing I like about it because I, mean, I, I like touching things and I want you know, this art makes me want to touch it. So, yep. but thank you so much, Danielle, for coming in. Is there anything else you want to tell our listeners about art gem, art and gems for charity.org? Uh, 
not really. I mean, we just, we're having a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of good. We're helping organizations raise a lot of money. So, you know, if anyone's interested, if they know of any upcoming fundraisers or if they want one for themselves, just I urge you to visit the website and contact us if you have any questions at all. And, you know, we look forward to working with people. We're having a lot of fun with it. That's artandgemsforcharity.org. They do both private and they also do charity uh, with their art. It's really cool, guys. You should check it out just for the fact that you get to see something different. Because yeah. I know a lot of people who, who are art people, it, seeing something different in the art world is always something, a uh, new experience. It's always welcome. And there's a lot of maybe geologists, too, or rock people. Yeah, you and, rock people. Yeah, you rock people. And uh, they just love looking at this stuff, too, because it's it's what they know but in a different it's presented in a different way and so you have like the itemized list of all the rocks in in the piece yeah when we do the pieces we we list all the the pieces that people probably would know right off the bat that's really funny but okay but thank you so much for coming in and uh, thanks to your husband for giving this the great idea of the the fortress of solitude yeah fantastic idea i think that's going to be probably the best piece y'all have but uh but yeah so we're you know listening to lone star in the mornings we got the switch hour coming up at nine o'clock I believe Switchblade and I are going to go over the Montgomery County Fair barbecue cook-off that's happening today and tomorrow. And then uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about what else is going on around Montgomery County for you know for fun. So uh, thank you again, Danielle, for being here. We're going to get back to the music on Mornings with Lone Star. Here's a little bit of Winona Judd, When I Reach the Place I'm Going. Hey, everyone. This is Tina, your host from Retro Saturdays. I wanted to invite you to visit the Lone Star Studios here in downtown Conroe, Texas. We're all volunteers here, and we need your help in serving the Montgomery County area. Radio Media is a fun field to be in. Lone Star Internet Radio serves Montgomery County with news, current events, local programming, and of course, music. If you are interested in volunteering, and sharing your talents in media, go to IRLongStore.com and let us hear from you. Lone Star Internet Radio, serving Montgomery County from the heart of downtown Conroe.